guys. I'm going to show you how you set up the Philips Hue motion sensor. So what you need to do is pull out this tab. There you go. So now it should be flashing if you see. Orange and yellow, dude. There you go. So now it's flashing there. So what you need to do is go on to Philips Hue app. And then you do go to settings. Accessory setup. Oh, sorry, I'm not one. You press the plus button there, sorry, I didn't see that. And you go to Who Motion Sensor. There you go. Remove the plastic strip sticking out the battery compartment. Check whether the orange light LED on the front sensor is blinking. So, which it is. So then you press LED blinking. So now I'll be searching for the sensor. It says it can take up to three minutes to search for the motion sensor. Okay, so now it says you successfully connected to the Who motion sensor. Please select the room where this sensor will be used. So, for example, I could use it for the main door, so you just press whichever you like, and you should be able to change it around as well. Or you could use it as your bedroom, so if you walk in, it'll automatically turn on, so I could do that as well. There it is, so place the sensor so it covers the entrance of the room. There it is, just press got it. And then your sensor will be set up for the bedroom for the following defaults. So you should be able to turn these off or on, so whichever you like. So now it's saying setting up defaults. There's just non sufficient daylight. Okay, so here it says one new accessory found. Press off. Okay, and then all you have to do is now just place this wherever you like. You could just mount it on or screw it on the wall as well. So that's how you do it here. So from the app wise, it'll be all now connected. There you go, the card just changed now. I'm going to show you how you use the Philips Hue motion sensors. So at the moment I've got it placed here. So what I'll do is turn off the lights. So now when I walk past that, the lights should turn on. So now, there you go. Now it's all back on again. So that's how it works. You can place this anywhere you want. So I've got it for the bedroom at the moment to show how it works and it's really simple and you can change the settings on the app as well so once it's all set up again so there's the bedroom sensor so just to show you how you get it so you just go to accessory setup and then there's your bedroom sensor and you could choose whatever you like from here and you just save of course okay thank you for watching